Today you're here to talk about mindfulness meditation. Yes. Um, mindfulness meditation is a way of actually connecting with the present. The reason it's good for activists is because in the Shambhala tra uh, tradition, which actually is my tradition, um, and emanates from Tibetan Buddhism, serving, working with others and for others is actually part of the spiritual path. And that seems to align directly with um, activist work, especially the work of Occupy. So, how to do it. Um, the, the practice of mindfulness meditation is deceptively simple. It's the benefits that um, are really, really great. The thing that you want to do as far as posture goes is sit straight with your back straight but not forced. Um, a text that I was reading this morning said sit like a king or a queen, you know, with that kind of dignity. Um, the legs should be crossed, but not, you know, you don't have to twist up like a pretzel, you know, like you see a lot in the mainstream media uh, when they're making fun of that. The uh, legs should be crossed just to give you a firm base. Um, and then your hands, different traditions talk about different things to do with your hands, basically can just be resting on your um, knees or at your side. Again, it's just to get you into a comfortable position that won't be too distracting. Um, what you want to do then after you get into position is relax. Okay, the, the thing about relaxing, and of course, there's been a lot of talk in the mainstream media about using meditation for relaxing. Um, that's not completely true. Um, again, it's, it's not relaxing so much as living in the moment, being aware of the moment, being aware of the present. Um, the reason this is important is because we spend most of our time either replaying the past or planning the future. So, you know, we're not really in the present all that much. Um, Thich Nhat Hanh, a Zen monk in uh, France, refers to this state as being asleep because when our attention is focused really on the past or the future, um, we're not really giving that much attention to the present at all. The benefits, and I've experienced this, the benefits of being in the present are amazing. For one thing, we tend to be less stressed. Um, the example that I can give you that I always think of is, you know, I had been meditating for some time in five-minute chunks, you know, and just not worrying about whether I was doing it right, and you really can't do it wrong, because at that point I was meditating in the middle of a parking garage, in the middle of a, you know, major metro. Um, but, you know, that was the only place that I could find anything near, you know, a peaceful atmosphere at that point. Um, so I was doing these five-minute chunks of meditation, and one night, um, I, my engine blew up on the way home on 480, and there, you know, it was dark, and there was traffic, and usually that kind of thing would put me into a very stressful um, state of mind and amazingly I found that I was you know I was right there in the present and I had no stress I had no stress about it I just did what needed to be done and you know took care of the details as they came along um, and I kept having these self-reflexive moments thinking gee you know this meditation stuff is really working um, as an activist what I have been finding is that meditation and being in the moment then makes me um, more compassionate to the, the views of others, 
you know, and this is where we're getting into that greater vehicle mode um, of, you know, working with and working for others. Because that's basically what we're doing as activists. What we're doing as occupiers. We're not just making, you know, a better world for ourselves, but we're making a better world for everyone else to live in, too. And bringing them along for the ride, and that's where the compassion comes in. Because sometimes people don't understand why this needs to be done. And if we approach them with compassion, if we don't snap into, you know, um, some habitual routine of, of saying, well, you know, you're just, you're just not with it. Um, and explain to them, and it may take some time, um, explain to them why this is important why Walmart is, you know, a store to be boycotted because they're, you know, they're basically taking advantage of the entire world, you know, um, then, you know, they'll come to see that after a while and it may take some time. Now, one more important thing that we need to do when we're meditating is find something in the present that we can um, kind of use as a focal point to keep our mind um, present. There will be um, probably lots of time when we have to come back to the present, when we find that our thoughts have wandered off somewhere else. Um, we label that experience thinking, we're observing that thought process. Because in large, to a large extent, what we're doing is observing ourselves. We're turning our vision inward. Um, so what many, um, many practitioners and many teachers recommend is focusing on the breath. This is because, you know, the breath is not something that we ever think about in the past. We don't think about past breath. And we don't plan future breath. Breath is immediate. It's always there. So if we focus on the breath, we know we're always in the present. Um, having the sound of a bell is good, too. And what the teaching is with a bell um, is to be present with the ringing of the bell. And then as it fades into silence, be present with that. And then be present with the silence between the bell ringing. For example, if I can do this right, just be present with this. See how it gradually fades away and then there's silence? We just be present with that if we have a bell ring. That's, I think, all I want to touch on today. I'll talk about more in the next segment coming up in a couple of months. Thank you very much.